Hi, this is Nikki Black. I'm here at ABA Tech Show 2017 with Bob Ambrosi. Welcome, Bob. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I'm doing good. I have a couple questions for you. The first thing I wanted to ask you was, what do you think are some of the biggest challenges that solo and small firm attorneys face when they're trying to incorporate tech into their practices? I think the biggest challenges are time and knowledge. Uh, time, when I, I tell a lot of the small firm lawyers I talk to, just can't find the time in their practices to evaluate technology products. And then understanding all of the options. Uh, you know, I think a lot of smaller firm lawyers kind of feel like they need to take this on themselves rather than perhaps talk to a consultant or bring in some outside help to evaluate systems. It's really that. It's really taking the time to be able to sit down and evaluate and figure out what's the right fit for their firm and their practice. All right. And do you have any quick tips that you might or areas to point people to to help them sort of figure that out? Well, you know, as I said, it, it, it makes a lot of sense to talk to a, a consultant about technology. But, I mean, the, the first thing is always to make a list of kind of what you need, what you want. Again, so let's start with the practice management because they're so easy to talk about. If you talk about practice management, what is it you want out of a practice management system? What is it you want it to do? Figure out which ones you want. Figure out whether you need integrations. I mean, are you a QuickBooks user and you want to keep using QuickBooks? And do you need a platform that integrates with QuickBooks? Is that important to you? You know, maybe it's not, maybe it is. But you need to kind of go through and evaluate, make that wish list, and then start to go out and look at which systems fit with that list and try and figure out the pricing because the pricing can be all over the board. I mean, we've, we've talked about this before uh, on the on the e-payment issue. Uh, some practice management platforms out there, if you want to be able to accept electronic payments, you basically have to get a third-party vendor and pay a whole separate fee. My case, one of the nice things about my case is that's part of what you're paying for. You're not paying extra to be able to have that capability. So you have to kind of sort that all out and figure that all out. Okay, and then another question I have for you is um, when it comes to sort of legal tech innovation, what are some of the areas you're most excited about and see the most potential in? I'm really interested in what's happening with artificial intelligence. Uh, you know, you're probably going to hear that 20 times today because that's what a lot of people are talking about. It's overblown in a lot of ways right now. You know, everybody's talking about robot lawyers taking over the practice of law. That's not going to happen. Uh, but what's, what is happening with uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning technology, is that it is taking over some of the more uh, mundane, uh, routine tasks that lawyers do and letting lawyers concentrate more on being lawyers. You know, we, we talk about uh, things like a lot of people have probably heard of Ross, which is a, a legal research right. service that, that uh, uh, uses artificial intelligence to kind of answer legal questions for you. And, you know, Ross is something that really only still works in conjunction with Westlaw or Lexis or something else. And, and it, you still need the legal, the, you still need the lawyer in the equation. None of these things are replacing lawyers. They're supplementing, they're enhancing the work. They're not supplementing, they're enhancing the work of lawyers uh, and, and streamlining it, but not replacing it. And that's important to understand. So uh, I think that's probably the most exciting thing right now. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how that evolves over the next couple of years. I agree. Me too. So, well, thank you so much. And I really appreciate your time. This is Nikki Black at ABA Tech Show. Thanks for watching.